The Council has assembled. They are eager to hear your report. <laughs> we begin tonight's meeting of the Council by calling the Council to order. Order. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. The Council is a live Twitch show and podcast discussing Star Wars The Old Republic. I am Magic Ace. Thank you. And with me are my fellow Council members, Redna. Hello. Elise. Hey. And Sakari. Hello, everybody. Ooh. This week we're going to talk about SWOTOR's influencer program and um, veteran versus new player experience. But don't forget, after the live broadcast, you can find our recorded episodes everywhere podcasts are found and on our YouTube channel. Just click the panel below or visit our website at thecouncilswotor.com. Check out our social media and don't forget to follow on Twitch because that's where the live stuff happens. You can find our Facebook page at facebook.com slash thecouncilswotor and our Twitter at thecouncilswotor. That's S-W-T-O-R for the uninitiated. You can also find our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the council S W T O R. Very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, very nice introduction, guys. Uh, let's jump into uh, what we're going to be talking about a little bit tonight. I figured that we'd break the ice a little with a quick, super quick review of 5.4 since they rolled that out. The, all the stuff that we spoke about last week. So let me throw the ball to Elise. Um, has, has, I'm sorry with you. Have you had a chance to play the Crisis <laughs> in Umbara Flashpoint? Game? I did. Saturday. I Well, in all honesty, I played not only the new Flashpoint, but IOCath, because I hadn't done that yet. Um, and since I heard there was something in that that was relevant to the new stuff, I played it all. So... <laughs> Yes. So did you play I have the Flashpoint, it. or did you play the uh, um, story Flashpoint? Uh, do you mean like I did? I um, have my Jesus Lana out to get me through the <laughs> solo so, version yes. of uh, the Flashpoint? Yes, I did. I actually got to have a couple of conversations while Lana heel tanked um, some of the bosses in the Flashpoint. It was nostalgic. Mm -hmm. I missed the Jesus droid and the overpower tunes that we got in coffee. Yeah, good old Jesus. Uh, Rinda, what about you? Did you uh, get to play the uh, Flashpoint? Nope, I don't have anything to talk about because really? I've been doing operations. <laughs> and uh, because uh, I was egged into it, I tried to do some of those uh, uprisings. Well, I mean, I did almost every single one of the story modes. Uh -oh. Of all of them, there was one boss. No, wait, that was on a master mode. So of all the ones that I've done so far, it has lived up to my expectation, which was very low. But we did have one boss fight where we wiped once. Yeah, you, you killed us several times. I remember. <laughs> okay, several times. On one boss, the first boss. <laughs> uh, what was that on? Wait. Uh, I mean, honestly, what was I that on? Have a clue. It was one of the uprisings, master mode something. He said we're going to do it in story mode. I said okay, so I just bring yeah. a healer. I'm not a t paying attention. He goes, oh, it's master mode. I'm like, I hate you. By the way, you have to <laughs> yeah really push the heels. That's for, that. for sure. Well, not we were all on prepared. our alts that were undergeared and underperforming, so <laughs> yeah. it was interesting. Underperforming being an emphasis there. Yes, I have done the new flashpoint. Um, I was really excited to see it. I liked seeing all the new wildlife, and um, I liked that you could actually stealth through things, because in the newest stuff, no matter whether you're stealthed or not, it puts you into combat, which kind of negates the whole purpose of me doing another uh, operative. Like, why do another operative if I can't stealth through crap? Well, anyways, you can stealth through this stuff. I like that. Um, the only thing I wasn't thrilled about is if you die on the last boss, if your whole party dies and the boss goes down, mm -hmm. you can't get back in to loot the boss. You get stuck at a set of doors where the first set of bosses are and the, the dude with the turrets. So I could not go loot the boss the last time I did it. I was very, very, very upset because yes, you need those pieces to go get the uh, stronghold, which I have not oh, gotten yeah. yet. Due to the fact that I did not loot, and that was the last bit of loot you I needed. You wouldn't I was... have been able to get the stronghold anyway, because they bumped that to 60. 
and then oh. they set the weekly cap at 50. Yeah. <laughs> so a bunch of people right. were wound up this week on, on Reddit about um, that's right <laughs> about that. I forgot two that's weeks right. worth. You remember Musco stuff. said that on that they did that on purpose. So yeah, yes, I remember. that's how they bought another week to make whatever tweaks they need to and bug fixes and what I think. Well, I'm glad that they pushed it back like they the way they did because even still, it's very buggy um, in several areas of it. Mm-hmm. I will say though, I really liked the boss with the two little ads killing those ads in the wrong order. Not good. <laughs> Yeah, there's, it's that very, was fun. It's very complicated. This. Yeah, I got to mm-hmm. play. I played the story, and that was all I did. I didn't actually go mess with the flashpoint. I just, I, I was amazed. I'm like, at the end of it, I was like, that was it. That, you know, it's this is the next chapter, and it was, it was essentially a flashpoint <laughs> in in story right. mode, literally. And then, right. and then it was over. I was just like, wow. I mean, there was a reveal. The reveal was good, and mm-hmm. they they, in my opinion. St- started down the next the road for the next chapter and I'm, I'm okay with it i like the direction but there was just it was very light on content this time around so i did not like the reveal i mean it was good reveal yes, but yes i did not like the reveal i'm but. in love with that person so it was painful <laughs> <laughs> but it but, started some um, good uh, tinfoil hat um, conspiracy theories around the community yeah, so yes. pay attention to twitter to see what people think and that is very much kind of what we kind of expected, right? That's kind of what mm-hmm. you expect. Oh yeah, for this particular company and blah blah blah. So it's good. Wait, so actually, are you implying that you need to have played all of the previous story content in order to appreciate this flashpoint? Pretty much. I, I <laughs> think so. I'd say yeah. I think, I think we all there's, agree. There is okay. an, a, a. I need to start Kotet. Um, is it joining? Yes. You, I don't yeah. think you can get in. I don't think Yo, that you can you, get into the, the chapter before this without having played through Kotet. And then you have to have that to prelude to this. So it's, you really have to have earned this. Uh-oh. You're muted, more Magic. Oops, haha, I hit the wrong button. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it matters, but my token tune... Um, could get right into IOCath. IOCath is the prerequisite for it. So if there's not a pre- prerequisite for IOCath, you can still get in. That's probably true. But I, this was the only one I could actually... I had one tune that I finished the whole series on, and that was the only one that it was flashing. IOCath was flashing for. Mm. So. so we didn't I even to get to... my way through that. We didn't get to experience the stronghold. We can't even talk about the stronghold. All we got to do was really play yes. a new flashpoint, maybe, and it was pretty buggy. And people didn't like the respawn points um, when you when you died. And apparently, no master deco mode friendly. is like seriously overtuned. No decos. <laughs> so Boring. what? I'm sorry. What? No decos. <laughs> Not for you because you didn't do enough. Oh. <laughs> and I, I have to say, I oh. haven't done enough to experience any of it myself. So who knows? So I what's the question started. of the week? Well, thanks for asking, Fredna. Um, so the question of the week is having to do with influencers. So we asked, what do you feel about the influencer program? And I can go over the choices. Sure. Um, I don't know. So the first one was, I don't know, I don't care what it is. By the way, yes. Oh, um, wait. Have people answer the question in chat. Yeah, so if you're in chat, please go ahead and uh, look at the question of the week that uh, that Sakar should have up now. And uh, choose which one applies to your feelings about the influencer program. And I believe you can do that just by typing A or B or C or whatever into chat. Just Perhaps so. Lady Danny can say. Maybe. Now, we are doing chat a little differently to how we did the question of the week because we allow people to, to answer more than one of those. Because, I, uh, you know, for instance, I realize that I may be a little uneasy about it, but at the same time be happy, happy that Bioware is doing this. So we kind of opened it up to that. And I'm, I think we, I'm amazed at the results when we get there. We'll... Um, I have to tell you, though, as a data person, um, may, uh, letting people have multiple choices makes me uneasy. But that's just because data people don't like multiple choice questions. Yes. Anyway, 
You like to force them into one category. Correct. That's, that probably would have been smarter. I don't know. We'll, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll it's see. better to do data analysis that way. Anyway. Um, okay. So one is, I don't know. I don't care. Um, B is, it's not helpful. C is, it makes me feel uneasy. D is, I think it's being abused. E, it's helpful and enhances my gaming experience. Uh, F is, I appreciate Bioware using content uh, contributors to further communication. And G is, I love Bioware partnering with the community this way. So we'll give everybody a couple of minutes um, or a few seconds, probably is better. <laughs> um, <laughs> in a couple of minutes. Um, so uh, while we're waiting for people to uh, vote, uh, Redna Sakari, do you have any, did you want to say what your uh, votes were if you were voting or if you did vote? Redna, how about you start? <laughs> I'll throw the ball to you. <laughs> well, okay. So, nice. Yeah, and Sorry, this is the difficulty nice. of being the contrarian because I can look at every single one of those answers. Well, other than actually A, because at the end of the day, I think I do care. And I do know to a certain degree what it is. Okay, I maybe, so. I, I was probably A before we started to plan on this. And then it became, I could say any of them, but I think I ended up settling down when I voted for it with, uh, I think I said I love Bioware partnering with the community this way. It was either that or I appreciate Bioware. And I think I probably know because I wouldn't be the type to say I love something. So I probably said I appreciate Bioware using content contributors to further communication. Mm -hmm. um, and primarily that's because even with any inherent flaws that there may be in a system, one, we've seen recently that they have proactively been trying to communicate with the community through the forums and, and other ways quite a bit more and effectively, in my opinion. Um, with, with genuine information. But on top of that, I do like that they acknowledge the people that are going out of their way and building communities within their game mm -hmm. and are enabling them to participate in the conversation. Right. That's kind of how what I felt about it too. I was, I'll be, I'll be honest, and I'm speaking as a Bioware influencer. Um, I am uneasy about the program. So I made sure to answer that I'm I'm actually uneasy about the program. Maybe we can unpack that a little bit as we have this conversation. But um, I, there's a there's a and interesting. We'll talk about the results. I'm not going to introduce that my thinking on that result just yet. But um, I, I'm kind of split too because I I agree with you, Redna. I am very happy that Bioware is choosing to use the people that are out there that are 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 creating content etc and and are, are throwing some weight behind them i think that's a great move um i i don't think i would go so far as to saying it was being abused though that that it's, it's there's a lot of mess to it again more to unpack on that but i definitely mm. think that there is some potential um pitfall there so yeah. i don't know all right uh is everybody done voting do we have some results Oh, so I'll go over the results for the online poll. Well, let's let's see what the results are in chat. Do we have any? Can we pull that yet? Yes. Well, then we'll compare it. Lady Danny, if you wouldn't mind sending the results to chat. And that we'll see what, lovely, the, please. what the chat and It's worth mentioning say. at this time that anybody who listens to this or watches this after the fact, if you do want to participate in the live stream, particularly contributing your own thoughts, this is the primary way. So it's always best to show up for the first 15 minutes of the show. Yeah, because you help us get the numbers. Numbers? We'll see if there's numbers. <laughs> we had like a vote here and a vote there so far, it seems. <laughs> Which is fine. It's definitely loaded towards the EFG. <laughs> okay. So I okay. think G was as far as it went. So that's all of the results. And it looks like um, where the majority of people are is that they appreciate Bioware uses the content con uh, contributors um, to further communication. They love Bioware partnering with the community this way. So that's it's interesting. Our chat... Our chat is more positive toward the program than the very many people that actually answered this, uh, this poll. <laughs> and actually, I could see that happening because you would think people who are interested in those things would be showing up on Twitch, right? Right. 
Well, I, I right, have a confession. So, so it's making. worth mentioning that we're not in. Well, most of us are not influencers. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> so we true. are not speaking as beneficiaries. There is we're one of us that Sakari. is because Sakari <laughs> does totally a different out. show. <laughs> <laughs> they offered me money. I couldn't. Tur- I couldn't turn it down. <laughs> Actually um, okay, <laughs> so the actual results that we got to the poll that we put out earlier in the week, or last week, um, the number one uh, result was, uh, right, was, I think it's being abused, with 79 votes. Number two is, I don't know, I don't care, and that's 65 votes, or 18%, if you want to think about it in percentages. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. (laughs) Actually, the number two was, I love Bioware partnering with the community this way. That was way at the bottom. Sorry. It's 72 votes. So it's, I think it's a being abused, 79. Second was, I love, was G, I love Bioware partnering. Um... Third is, I don't know, I don't care, with 65 votes. Um, fourth is, I appreciate Bioware using content contributors to further communication with 54 votes. 44, and, and it's not helpful. 24, yeah. and it makes me uneasy. I was going to stop at 44, but you go, <laughs> man. Because if you actually pull up the uh, straw poll, it puts them in order. It's very helpful. <laughs> I'm looking at it on here. So, anyway. All right. So, and people can see the results, right? You put those up, Sakari. The results are up, yes. Excellent. <clears throat> Which, as as it goes for these results, is actually really. I was, well, I felt a little bit. What's the word? Um, justified in my oft-stated opinion, which is very often what people are decrying in the community, whatever the topic of the moment is when people are just so up in arms about something or another. Mm-hmm. More often than not, I've, I've said that it is the there's been a change and, and the people that are unhappy with it are all in the forums crying about it. And the people that actually like the change are in the game playing it. And right. they aren't a part of that conversation. And I think, quite frankly, this poll very much reflects that. Yes. It's quite evenly distributed between I think it's being abused and I don't know slash care. And I love Bioware partnering this way or I appreciate Bioware using content tri- contributors. Right. And I think a lot of people, if they're in the forums or on Reddit or in those locations, that is either, is, is actually rather surprising that there's any kind of balance in that because all they're talking about is how it's being abused or whatever. Um, right. So I was actually really glad. Uh, and it's worth mentioning, we had a great turnout for this, over 350 votes. Mm-hmm. And so this this number actually becomes a lot more interesting. And having it watched, developed over the past, what, four or five days, mm-hmm. I mean, it was wildly all over the place, swinging up and down. Even after we'd gotten over 200 people, there were still, you know, I mean, at, at one point, I think the uh, I Love It was down on the fourth or the fifth spot, and then it finished out at the second spot. So, um, It was yeah. kind of cool to watch it. It was kind of like watching, like, a horse race. It was, actually. And, and you know, like... But it smells better. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Probably very true. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I we've, th- the last polls that we've done, we've had some participation in, but not like a massive turnout. And I thought to myself, this is the influencer program. I'm sure that there's a lot of people that would want to weigh in on this. And so I said, hey, guys, are you okay with me putting it on Reddit? Well, I think I may just have put it on Reddit. But I was like, let's get some people in here that, that, that um, think about this, What you know, see what they think. And man, the the votes started rolling in and I'm amazed. In all honesty, the the thing that amazed me the most was the diversity of opinion in it. Because even though there's like a lot of people that don't know or don't care and a lot of people that think it's being abused, there's also a lot of people that that love that Bioware partners with the community and and think it's help, you know, that it's... um, I I guess the general feeling is that that Bioware, um, it's good that they do that. Interesting for me, was that how fewer people, relatively speaking, thought that it that it actually is helpful to them personally, that it that it, infl- it um, helps their gaming experience? I don't know if you guys think that's uh, meaningful in any way. No, because we had a four percent turnout on that compared to, you know, some of the leaders which are up in the twenty percent. 
So. I think what's more meaningful, honestly, in my opinion, is the number of people who don't care and don't know what it is. Um, especially the, I don't know what it is. That right there says the Bioware needs to spend some time um, getting the word out about it more I'm and actually... picking their influencers better, in my opinion, or not better, but adding to the breadth of the influencers that they're pulling in. Well, it's an interesting thought because we don't know how that separates, right? Like, I don't care might be the vast majority. And quite frankly, they just don't care. They're going to play the game. And if certain people have those opinions, they just really don't care about it because they're already in the game. If that's not what that's not what the influencer program is for is them. So they say they don't care about it, but they're, you know. Okay. They don't have a good or bad opinion. So there's one thing that we haven't done so far, and I think we probably should have led with this, but let's go ahead and get this out now. And that's to talk a little bit about what the bio, what the influencer program actually is. Because I, it, oh, it dawns great. on me, we probably have the odd person in chat here who's like, what's that? Who, who fits into that category? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so Magic, what do you no, want to say? <laughs> it's worth mentioning, too, that it has actually changed in definition. More recently, it's actually become a more concrete, established entity. But it is something that, in concept, has been around for several years. Right. And they do previously. Use it, it was very loose, and it was just basically these are some people that we're going to choose for them to either come into Bioware and have opportunity to help promote via their podcasts or streams. Or they got to go to EA uh, locations in order to do live streams from like. EA offices of content that hadn't even gotten to the test servers. Uh, But now it's actually a more defined program that has uh, encompassed quite a few different members of the community from streamers to podcasters to bloggers. Um, I don't know of any vloggers yet, but I'm not sure who else is still vlogging. Well, Volk is in, right? Volk is in there. Probably the closest uh, thing. Sam of Sports or Central, he's in there. And, and, there, and so. what happens is that I so there's a lot of people out there. Actually, what I will do, I was going to mention this that that in, instead of us really belaboring ex- explaining here's what the the influencer program is, we can let Swartorista do that for us. So I'm going to put a, a link in the show <laughs> notes that takes you to a video that Swartorista did really recently. That is actually, in my opinion, the best breakdown of what the what the program is, what its benefits are. Um, who all is in it, uh, just as kind of a general lay of the land. Although it is growing, there are there are m- new people that get introduced here and there as it goes. So, can I can I just pipe in here just for a second? I think we need to make sure that we're defining this as it relates to Swotor. Yes. Because yes. how Swotor does it is not universally the way that everybody does it. So okay. these apply to or this even state. Bioware as an overall company. Correct. There is a Bioware or EA. Okay, so let's, or EA. Let's, EA. Yeah. Let's so start very broadly then. What so what should an influencer program be, given what you know of all games, Elise? What what would you say sh- an influencer program should be for any given game? Well, uh, the, it's defined, I guess, it's a marketing tool. And I think they call it like micro-influencers. So they're... Um, uh, the the goal is to take people who um, have some kind of a following and um, in some kind of a, uh, in this case, we'll say an entertainment product and uh, communicate that to their followers um, information and get them kind of in, uh, excited or um, invested in whatever it is they're talking about. You see it a okay. lot of makeup and entertainment and video games. Well, so- it's meant to be multidimensional. <laughs> so on the one hand, they are giving information to these community content contributors that they can share with their viewers in order to effectively distribute that information and influence how people are getting the inf- information. And then there is also the opportunity or the premise, although across the gaming industry this is debatable to the extreme but the intention is that they also have the opportunity perhaps a little bit more than the average forum goer to give feedback and interact with gain early access to uh content or whatever and potentially influence the direction that the game is going right again that's a highly debatable statement but that's the premise because there's certainly plenty of game developers that are accused of you know, 
giving these people this channel, but completely ignoring that feedback. Or then, you know, a lot of times the accusation of abuse is that, well, okay, so this very narrow group of people who are focused on developing content are influencing the direction of the game when, in fact, as a matter, the general customer should be the person playing the game, not the person that's trying to benefit right. from playing the game for their community. Right. I honestly, and that content... Go ahead. I was going to say, I honestly am of the percentage who... I don't care because everything you just said to me, I'm like, that doesn't benefit me. That's not helping me because they're not asking me. They're asking someone else who right. has different experiences, who likes different things. It's not like they're polling each one of their customers saying... What do you like better? What do you like worse? So for me, an influencer is right. just someone else like me that has different likes than I do. Yeah. So, so, so the idea, though, yeah. so, so let's bring it in a little bit closer. I think the idea is that as a con content creator, you're building a community, right? So if you're a, if you're a YouTube video maker that publishes on YouTube, you're building that and you're hearing, you're seeing people's comments on your videos and you have a community of people that tune in and watch every new video that you put out there. Or if you're a streamer, you have a bunch of people that show up, watch live, they're a part of things, they're com commenting. You, you, there's like a, a whole community of feedback. And so there's these little sub-communities that form around the game that you're playing. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think part of the idea is to, to extend some tendrils into those little communities and and use that that person that's kind of building that community as a conduit for information going to that community and information coming back from that community. I think the idea of an influencer is it's supposed to be a two-way thing where where that where the influence goes to that crowd but also the influence comes back from them and influences the devs in that in that way. And I think that's one of the abuses I think a lot of people are scared of, but I don't think it's necessarily that they're scared because or, or that, that, that they think is, is going to be an abuse. I don't think it's because they are aware how little... <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'll just say it this way. They think that the influence that an influencer has over the dev team is a lot more inflated than it actually is. It's feedback, but that's it's not really anything more. Yeah, because if it worked the way you guys thought, Sakari and I would have them all empire all the time. Because I'd be like, Sakari, tell him this. And he'd be like... <laughs> yeah, let's give this... Yeah. Well, there are those that would argue that that's what it has been the last two years. Please, <laughs> on the are, Harbinger of Life like wins right all now. the time. <laughs> no, the actual story that's being produced. You have to partner with the Emperor, whether or not you're light or dark side, and effectively do his bidding <laughs> and take over the galaxy, whether well, you want to or not. That would so pretty Safari, much be exactly what you're asking for. Yes. <laughs> yes, it did work. The, the, the orb of power, which I don't Sorry. have with me, but I mean, no, it's true. And so, so what you have then is that is that the the idea is that we've got these communities and that the influencers in this community, building this community and as a conduit for information to and from. That's that's the light side of this thing. But the, the, obviously, then people are worried about right. what's the what are the abuses. Well, I, I I do have to say, if you read on the Reddit and you hear comments. Um, and then you also compare the way that Bioware is doing this. Now, we all have to keep in mind, and I keep in mind, that this is only a year old, right? Roughly? I think mm -hmm. we had talked about that before. It's about a year old. The program? Uh, yeah. I don't even know if it's... started about maybe. a year old. Maybe. Okay. We'll say somewhere. I want to say well, maybe like, like September, October last year was when so, they started. Like, so maybe almost a year. <laughs> yeah. Right. No kidding. So it's pretty new. I mean, it's pretty new. I've known and, it for about three months. That's it. And this is actually a major um, marketing strategy for the video game industry because there's so much volume. I mean, I read somewhere that there's like four or 500 games that get released each month. So indie and AAA. So that's a lot of products mm -hmm. to try and get through. And there's just no way they can advertise their way out of that traditionally. Right. So it was in um, November. Be well, yeah. So, so, so well, wait. Let me let me so, clarify on that a little bit. No, I think Kid <clears throat> no, Kid Lee joined in November. That or oh, that's when they they kind of relaunched it. And that's I think Kid Lee was one of the one of the few on the front end that that was put in it. Um, Larry Everett, who's the hyperspace beacon, um, in chat mentions, hey, it was there before the program, or, or before Swartor we even launched. And I think Redna, that's 
that's kind of the point that you were raising earlier, where back in the day, they were trying to get some marketing out there. And so they wanted to leverage people that were already big shots out there in this in the community, you know, that already had a decent following. Well, let's get into their circles and use that. But I think that kind of phased out over time. And now they're launching with a new set of people. Well, even more recently than that, they had uh, people like Pretty Little Sis, Torista, a few others being invited to, ca- you know, and with plane tickets paid for, if I understand correctly. No, maybe the tickets weren't paid for, but the housing was. They uh, got to go into the California EA main offices, not even BioWare Austin. This was EA offices, mm-hmm. and they were able to help promote and, and share with their community. So it has been an ongoing desire. I think it's only been, it, it is significant that since November, first of all, we know who they are. Like, it's formalized enough that we know who they are. And also, it is a much larger pool at this stage where they are reaching across the different genres <laughs> and different media. <laughs> Magic yeah, you're like, we know agree. who they are. I, did, I didn't know Look who in your show are. notes and you'll see a list. <laughs> well, I know. I'm, if you're going to be at, smart, I'll look about it. If you're going to look for... <laughs> fine. If you want no, to look I'm, for it... I'm then saying... You the answer. Whereas before, you never really know, knew who they were until they shared something with their communities. And then I'm you not still saying find out, currently oh, at follow. this moment. Because right. at this moment, yes, I have the list in front of my eyeballs. <laughs> I am saying, for the point of discussion, no, I did not know who these people were. And they're like, oh, wait, you're like, we know them. I'm like, you know them. Because you do the Twitter and stuff like that. And I didn't start doing that until recently. So people like me who seriously played the game hard since the beginning and did any kind of beta at all, my my scope for social media was super limited. So the people that know this stuff are usually people that no, really care about this stuff. This is a good point, though, because... We, and because this we, is true. That's true. We have to, because you're right. If you're not on social media, if you don't consume absolutely. YouTube... If you don't listen to podcasts, mm-hmm. if you don't care about blogs, if you don't care about anything outside of the game that has to do with the game, then you're not going to be a part of it. But yeah. then you're also not the point. <laughs> hey, well, but it's you kind of are because yeah. that group of people are probably in that I don't know and I don't well, care. Well, group. hang on though. So until until you get in a flashpoint. And you're like, I don't know how to do this boss. Let me see what guides are out there, right? And you Google it or you YouTube it and you roll across some guide that one of them has, has done on this. And so you look at the way that they do it and explain, here's a tank perspective or here's the heels perspective. And you, you get to see how this fight goes. They break it down. Here are the mechanics that you can expect. Here's how to counter them. And that becomes the guy that you work with your raid team, for instance, to get through that. So, right. so, so anybody who wants any, if you are going to hit Google about this game at all, you're going to come across... Content that people, that non-game developers have created, YouTube videos, blog articles, things that people have written, things that people have, have produced and, and content producers and they put it out there. And what happens is that is they're the super fans. They're interested. They want to create this content. They put this content together. They're doing it on a, on a, on a pretty consistent basis. Um, those are the ones that Bioware goes, hey, we could probably leverage this person because they're out there doing this on a, on a very consistent, strong basis. Uh, and there is a, a community that's forming around them because they're doing that. So, uh, Yes, but, you know, to take devil's advocate, not every content creator is an influencer. That is At least not the way it is true. being defined by Bioware's current influencer program. So... You know, you could take blogs and articles and, you know, mm-hmm. streams, and they, not every one of them is an influencer. So, Everyone not all of them are them. at the table. Not, I mean, look, Volk wasn't, was not in the first group of announced influencers, right? He was in the second one. Right. So, and they grow the department, or they grow the program, and he, he gets right. em- embraced. Uh, but it is certainly an opportunity for growth for BioWare. At the same time, there are also certain people that will never become a part of the influencer program because they violated terms of service, because they've demonstrated that they've perhaps actually even viola- violated laws in different countries that this game is a part of. Oh, right. Um, and <laughs> okay. you're- Freaks me out for a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, just because certain types of speech are against the law in countries like France, you know? Um, but in other countries or by certain viewer bases, those people are considered entertaining. I mean, like, put put it this way. Someone that has nothing to do with our game at all, but PewDiePie, put on some 
re regular anti-Semitic behavior, and YouTube ended up uh, discontinuing any support, and yep. he couldn't generate revenue off of YouTube any longer. And um, Disney. Right, and sponsors pulled out from him, and for the same reason, there are people like that. You know, they're not going to become a part of the influencer program, and rightly so. Bioware has the right; they're a private company. Right, they have the right to choose who does and doesn't participate. And what we hope is that eventually, you know, it continues to grow, and some of these outliers that perhaps aren't in it yet get incorporated into it. Mm -hmm. I would like to actually see some more definitive definitions for who is eligible, so like, that like if a somebody feels they list of criteria, right? Exactly. So yeah. that if somebody chose, or, you know, ended up building up enough of a community and they could look at it and say, hey, you know, maybe they're new. But now, heck, even our own show, right? If we realized we were getting 10,000 views a week, I think that would be probably within their criteria. And we could go and say, hey, listen, we're reading, we're meeting your criteria now. Would you consider us? Mm -hmm. You know, um, it would be nice to see that work that direction, too, or have people get nominated by the community. To be part of the influencer program, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities for That's growth. Actually well, really I know what idea, they would yeah. say. They would say, "Sure, except for Magic, because she's a hater." <laughs> actually, hold on a moment, though. Okay, so, so th one of the things about the influencer program that they don't say to you, and and there is this criticism I've seen out there where they say, "Well, you guys are all just cheerleaders for Bioware." They don't require anybody to do or be anything. They're like, "You're doing content about this game. You've got an audience." That's what we're looking to to put in, and and I mean, I mean, I, we don't want to kind of drop names, but I will say, you know, for instance, you know, Brian and Chuck, a bad feeling. Those guys tell it like they like they feel it. If they don't think something is up, they say it like it is, and and that's cool, you know. And everybody everybody loves them. So, um, Bioware isn't forcing anybody to be anything, or or they say, hey, here's a bunch of benefits. We're gonna pay you off. Um, if you can, if you, if you, you know, tout our game nice and don't ever say anything negative about us, then we'll give you swag and all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. That's not how the influencer program works. But I think there's, there's, <sighs> I not definitely enough, don't want in. <laughs> there's not enough information out there as to actually what it is. And so what happens is people think that's probably what might be going on. Right. It's um, worth mentioning uh, that these people, because the original batches of influencers that were invited were originally offered perks and benefits that could be translated into monetary gains. Right. Maybe not actual paychecks, but they were given that opportunity. And as a group, they actually all declined because mm -hmm. they didn't want to put a sponsor tag, which they would be obligated by law in most countries at this stage to right. do if they're generating any kind of revenue. And they wanted to maintain that independence and the ability to be critical of Bioware. And so this is what we've come up with is this, a situation where it's always been the case that you could reach out to Bioware and request certain things. So for myself, as a streamer, I could reach out to them and say, hey, listen, you know, I'm pulling in an average of 25 viewers or more a stream, and I use all of my own cartel coins as prizes for my streams, um, but I can't actually give them cartel coins directly, and sometimes that would be nice. And I know that you have little 450 cartel coin um, codes that I could give to my streamers. Could I get a set of those? Or I know they've also got the 30-day time cards and stuff like that. So anybody in the community can actually reach out to Bioware. And if they've got a reason for a community that they want to share that with, then Bioware will provide that, regardless of if you're an influencer. And that was actually a result of the implementation of this recent influencer program. Previously, so they had standards that were established. But if you're if you're only getting five viewers on average now, you can actually ask and be given those kinds of rewards. Whereas previously, they would say no, you don't pull in enough. Right. Yeah. Um, I do think we need to touch on uh, a reason that people might be thinking it's abuse because that's not really been discussed. And one of the things you see on Reddit and other forums is is that they don't feel that anybody has a seat at the table to be able to respond back that it's only this group of people that are allowed to communicate mm -hmm. the community wants and desires. And there's other game companies that actually have an outlet. Either they on stream show um, like fan art and their forums have places for people to post things or, um, you know, that or they have opportunities to play, for example, with um, developers. We don't have that oh at my. all. So that's well for some people they really want to do that. So well, uh, yeah. that would be a nice. Uh, okay, perk. I got 
I got it. I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, but uh, I mean, that's that's not being done. And so, when you good. don't kind of show there's a big tent, and that you only have a group of people that, for some segments of the community, feel are the honored ones, that you're going to get resentment. And so, if I that was one of my criticisms of this program is that Bioware needs to provide some kind of outlet because when you're making your content, how many people are doing that? Taking community generated content and transmitting that up to Bioware. Usually you something. guys are doing yours and that you try and incorporate what you're hearing from the community, but you're not showing screenshots that people are taking from the game that they wanted to share with Bioware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and so and that really needs true. to, that's even a place from, they could employ, they could improve. Even from my own personal experience, there have been opportunities for me to reach out to, to influencers, right? As a non-influencer myself. And they said, hey, we're taking questions and we're going to be sharing them with others. And I said, okay, great. Uh, could you ask them these two questions? And I actually, you know, deliberately phrased it in such a manner as to be uncontentious while there was certainly a challenge in the question, um, it, I tried to make sure that it was something that they could answer if it was presented to them. Um, and I was told that they didn't want to ask that kind of question because they wanted to remain friendly with Bioware. So while these influencers exist and are supposed to represent their community, that they're growing, they're refusing to represent me. You know, And I could see where certain people would be very frustrated because if they reach out to somebody, now for me, I really couldn't care at the end of the day because I'm going to play the game and enjoy it. But I could definitely see some people thinking that basically they're using their influence and they're sucking up and not actually representing the communities that they are a part of. Are you saying there's a little brown on their nose? Influencer noses. <laughs> Redna, how could you? So I No, mean, like I agree, though. I feel like there's a lot of areas not being represented properly because of things like that. You want to play nicey nice. You don't want to bite the hand that feeds. And so therefore you don't, uh, you don't say what should be said. Okay. Let me, let me ask you guys this then, because uh, I'm see I am hearing a, a lot of you kind of on the, especially under representation, right? These influencers are supposed to be kind of carrying what the community says back to Bioware. Um, one of the things that Eric Musco put out on the on the forums not that long ago was an explanation of where the Bioware dev team gets community feedback. And it kind of broke it down. Okay, we look at Reddit. We look at the forums. We look – one of the places we look is at the influencer communities. We listen to their content. We we, we watch. We see the, the, the people that have said things in, in, the, in the comments. So I think um, – I, I would I would argue this. I think that people have a lot more influence than they think they do, as long as they're out there talking. If you're on, on the influence, if you're on Reddit, if you're in uh, a streamer's chat talking, um, they are watching that. Generally, they're watching that, and and they're able to see feedback that way. And so I, I think it's the nature of being in one of these communities actually gives you more. The actual people, in my opinion, that are underrepresented in this game are the straight guys that like magic, like you were, like you were for a very long time where you just play the game and we're just playing the game. Those are the ones that are really hard to find right. what they think about things. And honestly, they're probably the largest population in the game. I mean, it's the and super users that are going on to Reddit, the forums, Twitter. Those are the people who are, I mean, those are the ones who are getting noticed, but those aren't really usually the bulk of the population. Right, because yeah, I've frankly, had Twitter I don't for do years. Reddit. And I, never don't do really I don't it. do the forums because I go in there and I read that stuff and it's depressing, frankly. I, and, well, <laughs> and, and honestly, Reddit, I just don't understand. I'm, I'm I don't either. probably too millennial for it, even though I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, it's like uh, my only avenue is the influencer program. So frankly, I'm very happy that it exists mm -hmm. because that is my way to reach out to the devs or the, you know, Bioware is through that influencer program. And I'm again, I'm not a part of it. So that's my only opportunity. Additionally, what you're saying is the people that are happy that are playing the game that aren't in the forums and aren't on Reddit and aren't communicate, read, listening to podcasts because why waste my time listening to a podcast when I could be playing the game? Like, basically what you're saying is you're probably missing out on the voice of the most happy people. 
Well, I like to listen to some things now while I'm playing the game, well, but that's only because I recently got into podcasts, and I figured since I was going to be on one, I should listen to some of them. <laughs> so I did some good. research, and so I listened to some podcasts while I play, which is why sometimes I don't jump into Discord and talk to people, because I'm listening to this stuff to try to to get a feel of what I've stepped into, especially with like these programs and stuff with the influencers. Like I had to do research because I was like, I just don't know. I was all game all the time. Redna, I think though. Something wrong with that though. Because you're talking about I this agree. community. Redna, you're talking about this community where they, <clears throat> they're happy and they're just playing the game, right? The moment they become happy, unhappy, they stop playing the game. They move on to something else. They go get another game. Right. So there that's, is a very there is a percentage that that happens. Well, and that's what you happen is that's where the wagging the dog ends up being a problem, right? Because when all the voices in Reddit and the forums and even on the in the influencer programs are complaining about something, mm -hmm. right? Then perhaps that's going to actually, as a whole, influence Bioware to change it. So what happens is two years ago they abandon literally every aspect of a traditional MMO and start telling a single-player story that's very reminiscent of effectively a console video game. Right. And they neglect, other than changing some architecture behind the scenes to make end-game content relevant no matter what your level, at the, you know, no matter the level of the end-game. Um, beyond that, they didn't produce any content of a tradition... Well, they very little content of an MMO Group nation. content. Right, group content. Group playable content. They were focused on the story for two years. And that's because they kept hearing, well, we want more story. We want more story. We want more, you know, and it's like, except that you've also got a significant portion of the population that, okay, they came out with an operation after 18 months and they said, we swear we'll never go that long again. And then they promptly didn't do anything for two over two years, you know? So they're not keeping those promises. And then effect, once you break that, violate that trust, the dedicated operations community, whether no matter how small, which is also actually a very influential portion through the Twitch streams, people love to watch that. Um, those guys, they said, okay, fine, listen, you violated our trust twice. We're not going to go and dump. We might go put a single post in and say, hey, listen, appreciate that you let us be on the de test servers when there were operations. There are none in the future. This podcast is ending. This operations group is going to another game. And so the, you're right. I think they aren't as consistently vocal in those areas. They just say, okay, well, this part of the game is done, so I'm done with the game. Right. Um, but can I, can I just um, bring up, though, that there is, depending on how strong the community is, that can be overcome. And a perfect example is Destiny. I know it's not this game, but Destiny released it was like a six out of ten for Metacritic, and like went through very much the same thing. And that community is huge, strong. They have their own con like convention every year. So I think that a strong community can weather those things. But if it's not, then that's when you start to see the cracks in the foundation, mm -hmm. and. And the influencer program is not going to fix that. You have to have other pieces and structures to support that. And you have to take time to invest in the community. Mm -hmm. So I think the influencer program is a good um, it's a scaffold. It's a good leg. Right. But you have to have more than one leg for the stool yeah. to function. And so that's another concern, I think, that we don't want to dump all of our community management into the influence program without forgetting things like guild support, which is another huge piece of the community and structure that we have, or, right. you know, the contact and player and, and those two events. things are kind of right. You know, they've, and then they've exactly scaled back the cantinas so much. I used to love yeah. those. And now I don't care. Oh yeah. I was flying so, all over the country to be a part of those. So, and that, and, and, Sadly, I get nervous because I have said multiple times, and I have the courage to say it again, I really don't like the way the EA runs their influencer programs. They really don't get it. Um, and it there was a couple of times it felt like they were tinkering and what SWOTOR was doing um, a couple of times since I've been playing. And I just, 
it, it makes me that makes me uneasy. Hmm. Well, wow. Uneasy on the to... flip side, <laughs> actually, which I guess they started this in November, right? Which is around the time that we started getting the information that they were also changing the direction. They weren't going to be doing exclusively story. They were actually going to start focusing on doing some endgame flashpoints, some endgame operations, some you know, PvP changes, class balance changes. Like they're PvP. focusing on the they're <laughs> focusing on the playable aspects of the game again. And I I totally agree. Quite frankly, they spent two years saying story, story, story. So they still need to live up to that expectation because that is player base for the last two years. Those people that are dedicated to the game and all of the new people in the last two years, this is the, an expectation they've set. They should meet that. But I am 100% <laughs> happy that in the past six, what is it, 10 months, I've been happy with the general change in direction. The more communication you. that we're getting from the developers, the developers themselves, not community leads that are filtering whatever they're being told or just, you know. Right. Keith it's, has been so good for this game. He is exactly. the bomb. I, I mean, like, the moment he was like, okay, guys, we're going to step up um, interacting with you guys. So, I'm, so he's on the forums every day talking about stuff, you know, like like he'll show up on streams. And, and you know, it, I, I am very impressed with Keith. I think he is who he is a good start. He's what this game needed. And I hope there's a lot more of that. They need to build that, what, whatever his uh, formula is. I now Magic, have to go you research who Keith is. Mechanic. Oh my. <laughs> Magic, do you want your the last word? Because we're it's almost time for us to uh, yeah. wrap up. All I was gonna say is uh, I would love to to see like the rest of the operation. These bosses one at a time is driving me crazy, absolutely crazy. <laughs> I like to see a whole operation because I don't want to have to fight Ty every single time I go do the twins and not get to finish the whole stinking thing. I just want to know, okay? Yeah. I don't want to wait any longer, guys. I've waited. <sighs> Okay. Preach it, sister. <laughs> Anyways, well, you know that would make me happy if they want inf if they want influencer discussions to go on. Hey, influencers, Sakari, uh, other people, Kidley in the channel. Listen, guys, <laughs> tell them Magic Ace wants too. the rest of it. Oh yeah, JT, I want the rest of it, and I don't want to wait for another boss. If you keep doing boss after boss after boss, by the time you get to the last one, I'm going to just G-quit and shut my game down and just be done because I had to do the first boss 500 times. It's been a glacial pace. Oh, man, and the number of people I know <laughs> that are actually ready to come back to this game, like when they said they were going to start doing it off, and it was going to be like every month, a month and a half that they were coming out with a new boss, my friends were all like, sweet, that means by the end of the year I'll be able to resub up and I can start playing the game again. <laughs> okay, well, delay that by six months, but maybe <laughs> they'll remember <laughs> next well, year to come back for the operation. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what yeah. a lot of people did for Kotfi and Kotet, is I waited until all the chapters were released, and then they subbed for a month, yep. played it all, and then played, unsubbed. Played Kotor 3 and did. then unsubbed. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. That's exactly it. I want all operations. Right. I'm thankful for Odessa and Warzone. It gave me something different. Haters are gonna hate. Some people don't like it. I personally love it. I you have to know how to do it. You have to learn something. Oh gosh, it's not super Everybody, easy right off the bat. Your whole team. I has like learned. that one though. I, I like that. Love it. Love it. I like that. So one. now, now if you guys can just finish the operation, magic will stop harping on you, sort of. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who is in channel right now watching us and giving us feedback and talking and i'd like to say thank you to everyone who is participating we as the council absolutely love your participation every vote you make for every single week that we do these straw polls they matter they're they're awesome for us we like it um you guys are our community and we love to know what you think just like we want you to know what we think so thank you very much we appreciate it. Thank you for being here. For anyone who's going to listen to this after the fact and or watch on YouTube, because we're on YouTube, uh, thank you. We appreciate it. All of it. Every view, every time you talk. Thank you. We appreciate it. Or even your emojis. You know, whatever. That's cool, too. Except we love, the poop we love emoji. It. You can well, use the yeah, orb of power, though. That's, I looked that's for the poop right. emoji, and I didn't see it. I had to put my glasses on. I still didn't see it. <laughs> wow. I've never heard the poop emoji referred to as the orb of power. No, that's no, a he whole said, I do not want meaning. to associate those two. Wow. <laughs> that would be cool if somebody could make both of them. Like, put them together. Make an oh, orb of power. Oh, poop. Gosh. That's just That'd be kind of cool. We have now degenerated. Orb of, about that for a minute. Orb of poopy power. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Before All right. We, uh, 
close the stream. So that brings us to the end of the episode, everyone. <laughs> Thanks so much, as she said, uh, for watching and participating. <laughs> the council is adjourned. If you'd like to reach us, you can email us at thecouncil at thecouncilswotor.com. You can find Elise on Twitter at abrown35, Magic Ace at the Magic Ace. That's spelled properly, by the way, with a J and a K. Redna <laughs> at R3DN4. And Sakari at I Am Sakari. Don't forget to visit our website, www.thecouncilswotor.com, and follow us on social media. Also, don't forget our money page at patreon.com slash the council swotor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kept it That's... easy for you guys. Everything's the council swotor. You you got this. You can do it. Pretty Very soon we'll, be, we'll have been running long enough that if you just Google the council swotor, all that stuff will show up. Oh, that would be so cool, right? <laughs> but that's it, it for so this cool. week, guys. Thanks so much, and may the Force be with you. Or the Empire. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. What? How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Take a seat, young Skywalker. Forgive me, master.